Hi guys, this is Tara Devlin from RGTDaily.com with your weekly message. Thanks for subscribing to the newsletter. As always, I want to say hello to everybody and, you know, that's it. I just want to say thanks. What are you going to say? How, how many times can you say thanks? I have more things for you to do. If you haven't subscribed to our newsletter, please do it because... As you know, if, you're, if you've been listening to me complain, not complain, I mean it is, I'm asking you to please subscribe to our news, uh, not our newsletter, our YouTube channel, because YouTube is going to end our partnership. We don't buy followers, unlike Trump, unlike his family, the entire Trump crime family. I don't know if you knew that, that the Trump crime family, that Trump, when they say Trump has 45 million you, um, sub- Twitter subscribers, he has half of that. He is a liar. Everything about him is a show. He is the P.T. Barnum of P.T. Barnums. This guy is the epic con man of the, not the century, of human history. He really is. So, he buys followers because Obama has around 90 million followers. They're uh, they're real. These are real people. Just like Trump needs help from Twitter bots, from Russia, and whatnot, he f- buys these fake followers because of, you know, he needs that, that ego stroked, that constant narcissistic supply. Anyway, we don't buy followers because it's, it's pointless. What is the point of having fake followers? We want to have a real community of people that we engage with and that who can engage with each other. We're really trying to make the world a better place. So there's no point to buying followers, you know what I mean? So we started our YouTube channel. It's new and it's relatively new. And we finally became a partner because we had enough views and enough whatever. We had something. And then YouTube changed the rules. And we have to get a 1,000 subscribers. We don't have that. We have, uh, as of now, to over two, just over 200 subscribers. And I know it's really hard to get people to do things on, online. Uh, as somebody who connects with people online, it really is. And I think that has to do with people being inundated with requests and constant, and plus it's very stressful living in fascism, you know? So, um, I have another thing. So, after you subscribe, I would like, if you are so inclined, uh, we're having a fundraiser at RDT Daily because, you know, we're doing this for real. We're trying to make RDT Daily a player. Now, we have a very small crew of people And eventually, we really want to be, I mean, ultimately, my dream is to be up there with the big, the big league, you know, I don't know if you knew this, but um, Breitbart, that cesspool of propaganda, they received, well, not they, uh, what's his name, Andrew Breitbart, to start Breitbart, he received six million dollars from the Mercer family. We don't have that on the left. There is no left-right parody, as much as the corporate media likes to pretend that, oh, the left is just as insane and that we're, we're on equal ground. We're not. We're not, um, first of all, we're not insane. We're, we're fighting for democracy and leaving no one behind. That is the American dream. But, we're, we don't have the, you know, they like to talk about George Soros. I wish George Soros gave us a check. We get nothing. It's really hard pulling teeth out of the liberal billionaires and whatnot. I mean, there are liberal billionaires. I know for a fact the people at Progressive Voices went around doing presentations trying to get them to subsidize the channel. And, you know, it's like pulling teeth. They, they just don't do it. I don't know why. They're, in fact, I mean, it's kind of dumb, really, but... So where, anyway, I guess because ultimately what happens is if liberal billionaires, if they get their way, if we get our way, we're living in a more equal society. This is what I always say to right-wingers. If right-wingers, if uh, the Koch brothers get their way, we are 
nothing but serfs in the United States of serfs and lords. But if George Soros gets his way, his taxes go up, he's highly, uh, he's, his businesses are scrutinized more rigorously to the benefit of we the people, right? Not just, he's, he wouldn't just be allowed to dump his poisonous waste into our America the Beautiful. So there you go. That's why. Um, anyway, so we, we're doing a fundraiser. If you donate, anyone who donates above $20 will get this wonderful window cling. This, will, this can go on your windows, in your shops, on your car inside so you could peel it off. It's a little sticky on the front. And there is Francis Jr. Jr., our mascot, who, as you can see, he does not like Republicans. When he sees Republicans, he gets triggered, and he gets very angry. And he, he grabs back. So that's what we're about, grabbing back. So this is what we want to do. We want to give you this for your donation of $20. And hopefully with that money, we'll be able to grow and hire some more writers. We only have a few writers. We, wanna, we want more writers. And it's one step at a time, baby steps. That's Unfortunately, we live in a world you need money to do these things. It is what it is, right? There you go. So I hope you would like this, to like to have this. It has, you know, also it has the RDT Daily logo over here but it's not the main focus but it says grab them vote blue grab them by the midterms 2018 and it's so it's relevant to now because if we don't get the midterms if we don't get this back in the midterms honestly i think we're done we're done here you know i might as well go watch honey boo boo on the couch and eat peanut butter and just say forget it so, all right, thanks. I think this is a very long newsletter message, but hopefully you got to the end of it. Maybe I should be better at marketing. I don't know. It's probably part of my problem. I got a lot of problems. All right, uh, and one of them, the main problem, honestly, is living in fascism. Maybe if I lived in Holland. What, what's, oh, no, Norway. Norway. Holland, too. I'd, I'd probably be happier. I could ride my bike to work. I, I mean, I ride it to work anyway. I ride my bike in the streets of New York. You know, you got to be a ninja, though, really. And with a heart of steel to do it. And uh, But anyway, whatever. Keep coming back. I am in, uh, I'll be doing my Tower Buster at 7 p.m. Eastern, live on YouTube and Facebook, hopefully, if Facebook works. And thanks a lot for your support. And we stick together. We win. I'll see you later.